Good Sunday morning, everyone. Campbell Marshall, KPRC Channel 2 Meteorologist. We've had some visibility issues throughout the area. Patchy fog issues and some visibility issues. Not everybody's seeing this, but some of you are, and you'll see that till about noon or so, and then we'll see that go away. That's the Southwest Freeway outside the Channel 2 Studios. Miller Outdoor Theater, the Medical Center, also hazy off in the distance there. If we look down on the uh, island, Galveston, this actually has improved quite a bit from what it was earlier today. Uh, the visibility issues did prompt a dense fog advisory until noon for the marine areas. Galveston Island till about 10 o'clock, where some quarter mile visibility Visibilities were possible. So once that's down, we'll see just the streamer showers, overcast skies throughout much of the day. The streamer shower activity with some of it on the heavy side and thunderstorms that are happening there in Wharton County moving up towards Sealy. We'll see isolated pockets of that and these streaming showers throughout the day as all of it moves up toward where the front is moving up to the north. Now a warm front interacting with that colder air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. The Texas Panhandle, the Oklahoma Panhandle into the state of Kansas where they really got some ice storms activity going on there. All of that part of this very inclement weather, dangerous weather, where we have winter storm warnings and ice warnings and everything else that are going on in that area because of this stationary front where we have the line where we have warm air to the south, colder air to the north, and until that moves, we'll continue to have these ice storms developing here. 32 degrees in Wichita, when you have rain falling down and hitting that uh, frozen surface, that's where we have the problems that are uh, being felt in the Kansas area. Remember, the Kansas City the Chiefs game was moved from daytime to evening, hoping to get around those uh, negative uh, circumstances, but they're going to be a tough time no matter when they have decide to have that game. So we look at the water vapor loop. You can see all of the moisture in the upper level just pumping into Kansas, all of it being lifted by this area of low pressure that's all the way down south of El Paso. They came from off the coast of, of California down through Mexico and around. And you notice behind this area of low pressure, we have a, another set of uh, impulses that are coming at as well, and that's why we will have a rather wet period coming up. You notice the moisture that's coming in right up into the Houston area. We're going to see that happening throughout the next several days. Futurecast model, which initializes pretty well. This is Sunday going into Sunday afternoon where you have rain showers for Houston, bigger rain showers and thunderstorms up in the Panhandle area all the way into uh, Kansas where you still have that wintry precipitation all the way into the overnight hours into Monday where we have stronger storms dropping down into the central part of the state of uh, Texas where we still have those isolated uh, streams or showers. Then as we go to tomorrow morning, we see the uh, rain showers increasing as we get ready for our parades tomorrow morning. Here's 830 where we have showers there. We'll put this in motion for Monday at 11 o'clock. Then watch throughout the day on Monday, going into overnight on Monday into Tuesday morning. This is why we have a chance for isolated uh, flooding going on as we go into the Tuesday morning time period. That area of low pressure I showed you that was coming up from California, look how far away it is. All the way up in the upper Midwest and all the way in the East Coast, stretching all the way down for us going into Tuesday. It's going to stick around to Wednesday and another impulse will come up going into Wednesday into Thursday. As a result of that, we have about an inch of rain for the first couple of days here, but then going into Tuesday morning after Tuesday morning we have an increase in those rain chances going up and we'll probably be going up even more from here so one to two inches is likely over that period of time with isolated amounts even higher causing some isolated flooding in streets uh, throughout the area going into Tuesday so highs today mid 70s for your highs with the warmer than normal temperatures as a result of that warm flow coming in from the coast 30 percent chances for today those chances go up from today into tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday 50 and 60 percent rain chances that morning rain on uh, Tuesday will see to some problems really because of the isolated nature of the rain and because we've had the consistent rain showers going for the last couple of days so warmer than normal temperatures rain chances up throughout the week almost all week long and then temperatures start to go down as we go in to next weekend and the start of next week. Enjoy.